Hey, it's Tim here in 23.3. You can now fill down and do running calculations inside of Tableau Prep. It's an enhancement to some existing capabilities that were launched in the previous release. It's got the same beautiful interface, but I'm gonna show you how it works. As ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so if we go ahead and we drag in the sample Excel file that I've got, I'll just put it in here. It's called output.xlsx. We should see there's one sheet. And if we go ahead and connect to the next step here, you'll see that we have a lot of nulls in that first category column. And if I look at the data structure just below here, you'll see that actually what's going on here is that the uh, the the labels, the values after the first line don't exist. And this is the actual data source order. The way we know this is if we go back to sheet one, something that it's uh, sort of crossed out here is that it's got an auto-generated source row number. If I put my uh, face to the left-hand side and actually uh, bring that in by just uh, removing this, um, uh, in an item here and including the field, you'll see the source row number comes back. And now if I go back into the clean step, let's go ahead and select, select clean one. You can see this is the source row order here on the left hand side. And you can see we have got this sort of issue where we just need to fill down. Now, previously, what we probably had to have done is some sort of um, uh, look up function to the previous row if it's empty and you know all this malarkey that's just honestly it's just not necessary so instead of having to look up blogs and look up resources you can just do this instead go ahead to the column that needs this solution and what you want to do is go to the create calculated field option now uh, it's kind of interesting because you've got this sort of list of what I call funky calculations and it's starting to get quite busy there it's actually behind my face so let me move it up there and if you see here you know fill down difference from I, I, these these are these are sort of table calculations i wish they just called them that but it's just got calculated filled but anyway i think this is getting busy maybe this grouping is going to come up and the language will develop over time let's go ahead select fill down and what you'll see here is that we get this option to essentially look at this now i included the source row number so you can see the original uh, source row order so let's go ahead and just let's bring this back over here will it let me drag this go on go on let me let me let me grab it no it won't let me grab it <laughs> never mind oh god some of these small ux things can be sort of frustrating but nonetheless let's keep pushing so we've got this um field here and the interface to do this is actually kind of interesting so what we want to do is we've got this fill down option here group by order by and compute using this and the result is that and it's just done it i actually didn't have to think too hard because i uh, selected the fill down on this particular column it's gone and done the actual hard work and so that source row number ends up being pretty fundamental if you don't have that you kind of can't do this in the in the order that the data comes in and if you do it in any other order you can't be certain that the rows that are null should be getting the value from where they're getting the value from so that source row number previously released in tableau prep is super important here because it then allows you to do this which then gives you a value and you get the results so if we go ahead and uh, hit done what we'll get is a new column which will have no nulls and it will actually be able to, when we click on these, you'll see the nulls that it's filled across all the rows. So that's it. Pretty dead easy for fill down. This is about time. I'm so glad this is here. And you can just go ahead and use this feature. So that's fill down. New in Tableau 23.3 inside of Tableau Prep. Dead easy to use. It took me less than four minutes to show you how to do it. Go ahead and use it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do running calculations inside of Tableau Prep. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.